Hey, Duster Dan signing on. Just wanted to do a quick follow-up video on the avocado trees of the agricultural category. And uh, I think I'm going to argue with the professionals again on this one. You can see that the water is on, filling up my basin. Uh, at the base of this avocado tree, it's about 20 gallons or so. Real windy today and hot, almost 90 degrees, 85, 90. And just goes right back to my discovery and point about hydrating these trees, keeping them hydrated, I think is the key to a lot of the problems that people experience, including sunburn. Look at how plush and green these branches are. And look at the, I think it's called cadmium or something like that. Look at the green branches on these trees. See how green it is? Look down here. You see this? None of it is sunburned and yet these are on the south side in the sun not painted and I think what people are having trouble with as far as sunburn goes is that their trees are not being hydrated properly and yes I know they talk about watering them two or three times a week but I don't care how much you water them if they're not getting hydrated enough the tips of the leaves are gonna burn and the green part of the stems, the stalks, are going to burn as well. But I believe, sorry I sound so annoying, but um, gosh, I just get fed up with professionals who uh, make assumptions about things and, uh, you know, promote ideas that are not necessarily true. They're dealing with the symptom instead of the root problem, with it, which is hydration. So if you're painting your stocks, I, you know, you might need to paint them. I don't. I haven't found any need for it at all. And, uh, and I think that quite possibly if you will just hydrate your trees, your avocado trees properly, you'll find that the stocks, the green part, will not sunburn. Anyways, that's what I've found and it holds true on all my avocado trees from the seedlings all the way up to the big daddy this is the one that I grew from a pit I have other videos about it but this is the south side of the tree you can see these are all bright green no sunburn they, they grow in the Sun week in and week out day after day Southern California no problem with sunburn on the stalks the only time I have trouble with these is when I fail to hydrate them properly and the tips of the leaves start burning from too much uh, minerals, mostly sodium, in the soil. But as you can see, please don't interrupt my really cool video. Anyways, that's me. So anyways, you can see I've got about 40 gallons down at the base of this tree. Look at the ground on the outside, around the outside. Dry as a bone. It's windy and hot today. So, keeping them hydrated. No sunburn. Lots of plush green growth. Loaded with blossoms up there. Even have so many blossoms down here on the ground because it's shedding. Uh, it almost looks like it's got a carpet of blossoms at the base. This is the most my, my tree has ever uh, budded out. Probably millions of blossoms this year. Third year it's bloomed and I'm hoping to get a bumper crop this year. But anyways, point being, no sunburn because of sufficient hydration of my tree. Grew this tree from a pit five and a half years ago. Going like gangbusters now. And uh, by the way, it, it uh, produces really large Pinkerton avocados anywhere from I'd say about 11 ounces all the way up to almost 16 ounces almost a pound 
very delicious uh, fruit. So anyways, just wanted to uh, make my argument about uh, not painting the stalks and uh, not having them sunburn as long as you keep your tree well hydrated. This is Duster Dan signing off. Hope you have a blessed day. If you like the video, please remember to click like and subscribe. Talk to you later.